Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. When somebody sends you an email, there are a few different things that you can do. In addition to reading the email, you may want to reply to it or forward it to someone else, and it may also have an attachment that you can view or download. Let's start by looking at our inbox. For each message, you'll be able to see the sender, the subject, and maybe a little bit of the body of the message, and also the date that it was sent. If the message is unread, then the text will be bold and the background will be a different color. So these are the messages that I have not read yet, and these are the ones that I have read. I'm going to click on this message so I can read it. You can read the message here, and you can click the drop down arrow if you want to see more information about who sent the message and who the recipients are. In this case, there is one recipient in the to field and two recipients in the carbon copy field. After you read the message, you can go back to your inbox or you can click one of these arrows to view a different message. For really important messages, you may want to add a star by clicking here, and this will help you find the message later on. If you want to respond to a message, you can reply just to the sender, or you can reply to all, which will include all of the original recipients, or you can forward the message to someone else. In this case, I want to reply to all so that everybody stays in the loop. Then you can type your message. If you want to see the original message, you can click here. And when you're done, click Send. Now, if you're emailing back and forth with somebody, Gmail will group those messages into a conversation. And in your inbox, there will be a number that shows how many messages there are in that conversation. If you want to expand a specific message, you can just click on it. And then you can click in this area again to minimize it. Conversations keep your inbox from getting too cluttered with lots of separate messages, and it's also just nice to be able to see the whole conversation at once. Sometimes you may receive an email that has an attachment, and these messages will have a paperclip icon next to them. In this case, the attachment is a Word document, and we have the option of viewing it in the browser or downloading it. But with some file types, you'll only have the download option. Now, you should be careful when opening attachments. Some files may contain viruses, so if you don't know why someone is sending you an attachment, or if it just looks suspicious, it's best not to open it. If you use Gmail at work, you may sometimes need to set up a vacation reply, which will automatically respond to emails while you're away. You can do this by going to your settings. Scroll down until you see the vacation responder, and then you can type in a message. When someone sends you an email, this message will automatically be sent to them to let them know that you're unable to answer emails. You may want to include a phone number where you can be reached, or the name and email address of somebody else that they can contact while you're away. Also, you may want to only send a response to people in your contacts to avoid giving your whereabouts and contact info to complete strangers. When you're done, click Save Changes. When your vacation reply is active, you'll see this bar at the top of the screen, and you can just click End Now to turn off the vacation reply. So those are some of the different ways that you can respond to emails using Gmail.